a bit of this, and a bit of that. Perfect. Now this is what I call perfection. Now to call Abby to see if she would just like to join me. It's Ethan. I wonder what he's up to. Hello? Hey Abby. What are you up to right now? Nothing really. I'm just chilling and relaxing. I was really just calling to see if you wanted to hang out for a while. Of course. Where are you located right now? I am right now outside of the corner store. I'll stay right here until you show up. Okay? Okay. I'll see you there. Oh look at that. Ethan is waiting for his date. But little does he know what I'm up to today. Now to just relax until Abigail shows up. All I'm gonna need today is this melatonin that Vance used the one time. And then the rest will be simple history. It's actually cooler than I thought. I guess this is what September feels like, and I love it. Oh, something like, a raindrop hit me, and now I feel really tired. I think I might just about. Okay, now to perform my stunt. What I'm going to do today is bury Ethan alive in a grave. And I don't have a reason why I'm doing it, except for fun. But first, I'm going to need a coffin. Do any of you know where I can find one? Oh never mind that. They have coffins at the cemetery. Perfect. Here lies Ethan Clark. I hope he enjoys this dirt nap. See you never Ethan. That was quite a nap I shall say. Wait, where am I? Am I buried alive? No. This is one of my biggest fears. I have extreme claustrophobia. Somebody help me. Help me now. Ah! Hold on now, where is Ethan? He said he would wait here. Now let's be real. Ethan would never abandon me like that. He's way too heavy hearted to do that. Something might be suspicious, and I don't like it. But it has to be on someone else's blame. Now, to break the fourth wall here, we need to make this video longer. So could somebody play the think music please? I think Ethan's been kidnapped in some way. I just hope it isn't too bad. Oh thank goodness. What relief. I have my phone on me, with unlimited data. So I need to call Abigail and my mom to let them know where I'm at. And then I need to call someone who's gonna get me out. It's Ethan. I hope he's okay. Hello? Hey Abby. I just want to let you know that I've been buried alive. I'm probably at the Vian Cemetery. I had to call you first, because I forgot that mom was at work. But I'll still call her about this. I will also call someone to get me out. What? Buried alive? Oh I'm so sorry. I'm running over there right now. You can tell me about it once we get you out. Okay? Love you. Bye. I made it right on time. I've got to get Ethan out before he suffers suffocation. Dig 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 dig. I've got to get him out before it's too late. That was so rough. I'm sure it was. Are you sure you're brave enough to tell me what happened? Don't worry Ethan. Abby's here. Oh my god. Ethan. I've seen you upset before, but I've never seen you this upset. It'll be okay. Come here. <laughs> oh, Ethan. It's okay. You're safe now. Please don't be scared. How could I not be scared? 
I was just buried alive and killed. That's one of my biggest nightmares, and it almost happened. Imagine if I wasn't able to get out in time. <laughs> I understand, sweetie. It's going to be okay. There's nothing to worry about anymore. You know what? Me, Shieldy, Shelly, and Donut are all going to find out what kind of monster did this to you. And when we find him or her, the cops will be called for an attempted murder. This person is going to pay for everything. Please do so. I really want justice to be served. Ethan did nothing wrong. But before we do this, Ethan, could you tell me where you were previously? Um, 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 I, um, um, um. It's okay, Ethan. If you have a hard time talking right now, I can try to answer the question instead, because you did tell me over the phone. That works too. So Abby, do you know where Ethan was before the incident occurred? So basically, Ethan and I wanted to hang out together, so we talked over the phone. Ethan told me to meet him outside of the corner store. And I went over there, he wasn't there, and then I received a call from him saying that he was buried alive. That's all I needed from you. Ethan was outside the corner store before the incident escalated. Thank you very much you two. Me and my clan are going to find this culprit, and get him situated. I'll be on my way now. Hey Ethan, is it okay if I take you to your house and sit with you for a bit? I guess. But I don't know if it'll make me feel better. It's okay to be unsure. But it should at least take your mind off of it. I. Can't. See. Anything. Nothing? You don't see any tracings? Okay. This is starting to get a little challenging. But Shieldy, we've only just started this investigation. Aren't you being a little impatient? You are absolutely right Shelly. We can't just make assumptions. We need to go step by step to find the evidence. You guys looking for someone? I knew it. It had to have been a flying eagle, and you two found him right away. Trophy? What the heck? You were seriously the one who buried Ethan Clark alive? No. These police officers are telling lies. I did not bury Ethan alive. They do not know what they are talking about. On the contrary, we do in fact know what we're talking about. You squirted Ethan with Matoning, buried him alive, and hit behind this building. Which is a terrible hiding place to begin with. I'm being serious. Let me go, now. Never. You are the worst object show character who ever lived. Burying someone alive is a serious attempted suffocation, and that could land you in jail, which is where you are going right now. Now Officer Peter, say what you always say. I was just about to get to that. Thanks anyway. So Trophy, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the attempted suffocation of Ethan Jeremy Clark. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you'll later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. No 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 no. You can't do this to me. I don't care that this is a delayed reaction, but you can't arrest me again. I do not deserve this. Tough luck buddy. Maybe you should have thought of that before you attempted to suffocate Ethan. Now, it's back in the cell for you once again. Trophy, what is wrong with you? You attempted to kill Ethan for no reason? Are you delusional or something? Oh this is so not coming out of your record. You now have Ethan extremely traumatized by this scenario. He has autism and he takes this stuff really seriously. If he gets hospitalized because of this, you will be paying everything. That's it, you are grounded until Halloween, and while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes for every meal including dessert. We're out of here. And if you don't stop dancing like a clown and crying like a motor car, I swear to God I will turn you into one again, and have you given away on one of Vance's game shows. Oh Ethan, it's going to be okay. Please don't be scared. You're safe in Abby's hands now. I'm here for you until the universe ends. Here Ethan. I made spaghetti with marinara sauce, your favorite. 
Will this make you feel any better? Ethan? Um, Ms. Clark? I think Ethan just doesn't want to talk right now. Did you not hear what happened? Of course I did. I can't believe that some heartless troll would do something to my son. Did they find out who it was? I really do not know. But I have a strange feeling that it was one of the flying eagles. Oh! Those stupid dodos. Look, my little angel, I'll make sure that they do nothing else to you ever again. If they do, I'll give them a piece of my mind. Maybe eating this pasta I made you might take your mind off of it. Hopefully you'll feel better afterwards. I don't think this is helping. Just relax buddy. You'll feel better soon. I promise. A few days later, Ethan was fully recovered and can now live life normally. Lesson, never bury someone alive as it's one of the most feared things ever.